Hello everyone, and welcome back to CMB Extra. It's me, Chester, to talk to you once again about SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. I just want to say Battle for Rehydrated, but that would be incorrect. Welcome back. So it's been a little while since I talked about any of my opinions or news about any of that, because there really hasn't been any news, and so I don't have any opinions about the no news that we've had, except give me more news, please, THU Nordic, please. Please. Uh, if you're aware about all the stuff going on with this game, you know that there are a lot of versions of this game coming out. There's one for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. And there'll probably one for, be one for your toaster soon. So here comes the question though, what version will you buy? And so, because that you can comment, let me know what version of this game will you buy? And now I will tell you what version I'll buy. So, I have different reasons for the different versions that I'm going to buy. But I did want to note that the game is coming out in most likely 2020, mid to late, I'm imagining. It might They might do a random announcement, say it's coming in November this year or January next year, but I doubt that. I'm kind of imagining like a May to December release date for the game, but we will see. It's all up in the air, so don't come and comment saying you're wrong in three months when they announce that it's coming out then, because I don't know what will happen. <laughs> But if it does come out uh, next year, that means that it's going to be some of the last of the last wave of modern generation console games that will be coming out. Because in around 2020, I'm feeling like a lot of companies are going to be switching their focus to next generation. So why release our game out now when we can release it in a year for the new console and get a load of early adopters buying our stuff up because there's nothing else on PlayStation 5 to buy. That's the only reason why Assassin's Creed Black Flag sold as well as it did on PlayStation 4. I don't even know if it sold well, but I know that my brother, when he first got the PlayStation 4, he bought that game for a second time because it was out on PS4 and nothing else was out. So yeah, so here's my different reasons for why I'll be buying Spongebob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated on these different consoles. So the PlayStation 4 version, I'll be buying this game on this console, firstly because the PlayStation 4 is my favourite console, and also because I own the pro version of it so it will look better and all that type of stuff, but I don't really care about that a ton. Um, but because it is my favourite and because it does look better, that's going to be the version I'll be doing my Let's Play of, because of course I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of it, come on, of course. So that one will be the version that I'll be putting up on this channel. Next is the Xbox One version. Now I'm not the biggest fan of the Xbox One, mostly because the damn controller has this big light in the middle of it, like right here, it can't be like the Xbox 360 version, and it's just shining up in my face every time I'm playing, it's like, ah. Oh. The Xbox 360 controller was perfect, why do you need to change it? Um, but anyway, um, I'm not going. I'm going to be buying it for the Xbox One because I I will, and I'm not. I'm probably not even going to play it, but I'll own it. I'll have it, and I'm going to buy all this in physical if I can. Next will be the Switch version. So I'm going to buy the Switch version because I really love the Switch, uh, but also having a uh, SpongeBob SquarePants platformer handheld that's a 3D platformer. I don't think that's ever happened before, and I'm so excited for it. Um, I'm probably going to be doing that just for my personal enjoyment of the game, just playing it on my own, all that type of stuff. I'll be doing it on the Switch version, I'll probably 100% the game on the Switch version, and it's just for that type of stuff. It'll also be interesting to see how the game has been downscaled as well. That's the reason why I wouldn't be doing a Let's Play on it, because the game will undoubtedly be downscaled from the new version, because considering this is more or less just a remake where they're just boosting up the graphics and all that type of stuff and adding new stuff, uh, you want to kind of see the best version of the graphics for your Let's Play, so that's why I'm doing that one. But yeah, so I'm doubtful there's going to be a big downscale, but there will be apparent. Next is the PC version. So I'm going to be doing this PC version, uh, firstly for two reasons. So it hopefully will be upscalable in a way enough. So I'll be doing that reversion for a lot of like the review footage and type of stuff like that, and news footage and all that type of stuff. And also for multiplayer, so it'll be easier to play with people hopefully on PC. But that'll be also interesting to see how well the game scales like is this is this just going to be a port of the piece of like the console version to pc is it going to be pc made originally and then downscaled down to the other consoles type of stuff that'd be interesting to th to see are we going to be getting like 4k spongebob here with 120 fps or is it just going to be the pc the console version on pc we'll see i'm also intending on buying all the versions so that i can do one of those videos where it's the game like you know four times and you can see each version and how they look different and all that type of stuff because I'm really interested in seeing that for myself and I'm not sure who else was going to do one of those so I want to do it yeah but I'm also doing this because I really want to support this remake in every way possible as long as it's good 
even if it isn't i'm still buying all the versions so uh so yeah those are my reasons let me know in the comments down below what version will you be buying are you gonna be like me being a freak and buying every version known to man or are you going to be a bit more reserved and just buy one version? And uh, which console will that be on? And I don't want to hear any like discussions about which console's better or whatever. I don't care. I don't care. All right. I just want to know what version you're buying and why you think you should do that over other ones. Maybe it's just because you only own the PlayStation 4, so you're buying it for the PlayStation 4. I don't know. Maybe you own all of them and you're like, I just really want to play it portable, so you're buying it on the Switch which is why I'm buying on the Switch as well. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Also, stick around on the channel. We're doing a new video, hopefully sometime next week, which will be 10 things that we really want to see in the uh, remake. I'll be doing that with a special guest, so stay tuned for that. All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.